10. Thanks for joining us on a Friday night. I'm Lauren Maloney. We begin with our coronavirus coverage. The cry of start your engines is certainly a familiar statement at racetracks worldwide. But what about start your vaccinations? Race fans could both start and finish their vaccination efforts in Barrie today. Local 44's Mike Coey joins us now live in the studio after a trip to Thunder Road. Mike. Lauren, you could uh, throw the green flag and the checkered flag, if you will. Well, a walk-in vaccination clinic wasn't the only noteworthy happening at the track that was related in some way to COVID-19 either. NASCAR Hall of Fame member and Vermont broadcasting icon Ken Squire returned on Friday to Thunder Road after being diagnosed with COVID-19 last November. Yeah, I had fun with it, that's for sure. Not much fun, but... Uh... The point is that the opportunity for Thunder Road to rise and shine uh, for this occasion is pretty special. And they've had a wonderful congregation out in front. Squire essentially wrote the book on how to present stock car racing to a national audience. But before that, he founded Thunder Road in 1960 and still owned it as recently as four years ago. These guys are doing such a great job with this track. It's never looked better. They keep spending their money on things that a lot of people can't see. But the experts, the regular fans, they know the difference. And he had kind words for Governor Phil Scott. The former Thunder Road end of season track champion caught up with Squire while visiting and encouraging the EMS crews conducting a vaccination clinic at the track. It's wonderful to think that uh, Thunder Road can play a small part, perhaps. It was his idea to have Thunder Road have a night to fight this pandemic. Brattleboro-based Rescue Inc. inoculated 31 people against the virus with the single-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We've been doing clinics all over the state of Vermont, and sometimes we find, you know, we get two or three at a, at a location, and, you know, sometimes we feel a little disheartened, but, hey, it's still two or three people that weren't vaccinated this morning. One person at a time certainly adds up, Lauren, but the people who were getting vaccinated at Thunder Road while I was there were a little bit bashful. No one wished to speak with me on camera. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Hoey, Local 44 News. That's because there was racing to see. Thanks, Mike. More than three dozen walk-in sites have been scheduled for this weekend. This as the state is inching closer to the